I'd like to talk about my dad's hands. The first thing I'll say about them is that they were kind of short. Dad was tall, so you would think he would get longer or thinner fingers, but dad's hands were stout. His skin tanned pretty easily, and he had a generous amount of hair, so when I recall them, I see his sort of dark brown color. His hands were also very strong. Not the kind of strong where your veins pop out and you can see all the muscular textures. More like they were just solid. There was a weight to them. I mean, you could feel it when he gave you a high five or shook your hand. Early on, he would let me trace my fingers along the lines of his palm as he read me a story or drifted off to sleep. I remember him teaching me how to write because we were the only two left-handed people in the house. Growing up with a family of eight and a house meant for four can definitely challenge your sense of individuality, so getting to share something that was just ours always felt special. Actually, one of my last memories with him was holding his hand. Dad's condition had deteriorated and we were in the hospital room waiting. There was a lot of uncertainty. Was it possible for him to pull through? Could he hear us? Was there brain activity? If so, what did that mean? And on and on. Somewhere between the mundane seconds ticking by and this overwhelming dread, I decided to sit by his bed. I don't remember everything clearly, but I do remember tears. Almost instantly. And then more tears. I prayed in a way I never had before or since. I had few to no words at all. My heart felt more open than it ever has. I believed that God knew me and loved me in the moment. I felt connected to Dad in a way I can't describe. Sorrow is the wrong word for it, though it was a deep sadness. It felt both like I was very close to Dad while simultaneously feeling him slip away. A burst of heat that leaves a mark and then cools. It was another 14 hours before the doctors officially declared him dead and I realized my final moment with him had already passed. I have no assumptions as to exactly when Dad's consciousness left, but I have named those last few moments holding his hand to our goodbye. So, now at 29, here is my newest update on life without Dad. My hands look like his hands. Like, a lot. Of course, it's not exact, and of course I understand that genetically they look similar. But to look down and see two stout, bristly brown hands and be reminded of all that Dad was and what he taught me, it just feels like an absolute miracle. Mom, can I have some breakfast? Hey, buddy. Breakfast now? Sure. You know, I was thinking that maybe this morning for breakfast we would have little boy fingers. No, 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 no. Okay, what do you think? Uh, pancakes. Pancakes. Chocolate syrup. Chocolate syrup. Chocolate chips. And Brussels sprouts. No, ice cream. Okay. You gotta have 30 feet from here to the kitchen to convince me. If you throw in some Brussels sprouts, you got a deal. Shake on it. Quick breakfast Brussels sprouts. No! Ah. I didn't try.